If you're on the market for a new set of alarms, but don't want to break the bank, but still have loads of features, then Sonic's new gizmo alarms could be what you're after. Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at Sonic's new gizmo alarm. So I'm going to go through each and every item and go through all the different specifications that they offer. But gizmo by name, gizmo by nature because they are packed full of features. So we will start off with the hard case that it all comes in. So it keeps it all protected and this comes in a set of two, three or four all of which includes a receiver as well, a standard and a free bivy light. So depending on which one you go for, you can still upgrade and get the uh, get another alarm and fit into the next slot because there's cutouts in here. So you can remove the foam, fill in and put in an extra alarm. So it keeps all your alarms protected away in storage or not in use. But uh, once your alarms are on the uh, buzz bars, there's no need to take them off freely because they do come with a protective hard case as well, which covers the front and the snag ears, gives it a bit more of a sort of durability when in transport, it's not going to get knocked around and break anything, it just keeps it protected, but pops off really simply like that and uh, you're good to go. Now we'll start with the way they look, nice and slimline, small little unit and as you can see from one of the shots, I tried putting a pound coin just for a reference of size of the sort of uh, the width of these things and I couldn't quite fit it between the snag edge but give you a bit of an idea of just how slimline these alarms are in, this, in a cylindrical shape but still manages to be very easy to use so they're compact but very nice to use. On the front we've got three different dials to get onto what all of those do in a second, on off button and at the bottom, you've got a power out port for illuminated hangers. You've also got a fully adjustable uh, thread unit, so it doesn't matter what banks you've got, it's a universal fit, but you've also got the screw on there, or the little washer that you can slide up and down, screw up and down to fit onto any different bank sticks and make sure they're fitting nice and snug. And a little rubber um, sort of washer to make sure that seat's nice and uh, sturdily. On the top, as you can see, there are built-in snag ears, which are see-through, and these are illuminated. They actually have sort of two functions, one as snag ears, but two, they illuminate. So when you get a take, the left-hand uh, snag ear lights up with the colour of the alarm, and if you get a drop back, the right-hand snag ear illuminates with a white LED. So you can see whether you've got a, a forward take or backward take, especially at night, that's going to be really handy, and all of that translates over to the receiver as well, which you get onto in a second. So we'll turn it on, slight press, and there, just a couple of flashes of the uh, snag ears, but no noise. So it's a silent on and silent off. So if I press it again, they're now off. So there's no noise. You don't need to let anyone else know that you're turning your alarms on. You know you're turning it on because you're the one pressing it. So there's no need for a noise to be uh, set off. Now the three dials on the front, you've got sensitivity, tone, and your volume. So they've got multiple different settings. If I go all the way to the lightest, I'll put the volume up so you can hear it get my trusty little bait needle this is on its least sensitive so as you can hear I'm spinning that roller quite hard and you're really getting one beep for every sort of few spins but as you can see one two three four five six seven eight different sensitivity modes this is now on its most sensitive so you can get very very sensitive with these and that's really lightly pulling the bait needle through and you're getting multiple beeps, so you're not going to miss out on those fine little details. Now the next one across is your tone. Again, if I just put that one all the way back to its first, you can have it low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go, so you've got eight different tone settings, eight sensitivity settings, and now onto the volume. Now if I put this all the way back to there, that is silent mode. So as you can see, the rollers go in, the illuminated uh, snag ears are lighting up, but there's no noise. So if you've got it just on the receiver, no need to have the noise coming from the, uh, the alarm itself. But that's on silent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you go, eight different volume modes that's now on its loudest. Now, you can also set this to a silent mode. So if you're just about to do some adjustment on your alarms, and you just wanna sort of tweak how your line's sitting or pick up a rod, again, no need to let anyone else know that you're doing that. It's a big bugbear of mine where people seem to make as much noise on the bank as possible. I know I am right now, but there's no one else here. You just touch the on-off button, and then as you can see, the snag ears are now flashing between each other. This gives you a 30 second window 
of absolutely no noise whatsoever. So you can adjust everything you want to down the uh, rods and you're not going to let anyone else know and you're not going to make any noise in your own swim. After 30 seconds, that will reset itself and put itself back onto full volume. Or you can just press the volume button again, uh, the on off button again, sorry, and that cancels out the mute mode. So you're now back to uh, how you want it. Now these alarms come in a selection of different colours, red, yellow, green or blue, and they also have a night glow feature, so when you're in the night you can see where your alarm heads are very easily, so uh, not that you ever seem to lose where your rods are unless someone's moving them, but it just gives you that little bit of peace of mind, you see exactly where they are and what they're doing at what point. Very easy to change the batteries, just a slide on the back, you just pull it open and it takes simple batteries, which is bliss because it just takes AAA batteries, two of them and you're away. So. They're not going to cost a bomb to replace. You can always have a spare set of batteries in your bag when they do die and very quick and easy to, re to uh, replace. You don't have to take the alarm head off or anything. Just slide the back cover off like so, access the batteries and slide back in. And it lets you know when the uh, batteries are getting low, but silently, it doesn't beep at you all the time. It will just let you know that the batteries are getting low. Moving on to the receiver. Now, as you can see, once again, follows the same style really small in the hand, you pop that in a pocket, no problem. You've got a little lanyard if you want, or a little uh, tag, so you can wrap it onto something, hang it in your bivvy, but it's just a, a real nice little unit and easy to carry around. Now, a few of the features, just to start with, the V button, just above the speaker, press and hold, turns it on. And once again, silent startup. You know you're turning it on yourself, so you don't need to let anyone else know that you're turning your receiver on. That is now on. The other buttons, you've got just above the V, it looks like the uh, torch button, press and hold, and that will turn on the torch at the top like so. So quite handy in the uh, at night if you just want to look around on the floor if you drop something, you don't want to put all your lights on and ruin your night vision if you've been looking out the bivvy, but you want to find something. Handy little light just to uh, assist you with that. Press and hold again, and that turns that back off. That button also uh, changes the settings you have on the receivers. If I press it, that's now just on vibrate and lights. So if I get a uh, take, it will illuminate the lights on here, but vibrate, press it again. Now it's just noise, it won't vibrate, but it'll do noise and the lights. Press it one more time. Now that's sound, vibrate and the lights. So that's like the, the full whack mode, if you like. And you've also, as I said, with the light features, similar to the alarm heads, you've got colored LEDs on the left. Again, blue, green, yellow and red. So you can sync them up to the dedicated channels. And then on the right, you've got the white LEDs. So exactly the same as the alarm heads. The colored LED is a forward take, also letting you know which alarm it is. The white LED is a drop back, and again, it's on the same channel, so you know exactly what alarm is going off and which direction the line is traveling, which is very, very handy. Just above that is M button, press that, that's the memory mode, so it tells you, say you had a, a little few beeps, you didn't see which one it was, press that and it will tell you exactly what rod it was. And at the top, if I press and hold the S button, that will allow me to sync up the alarms. So I've just pressed it and it's wiped memory from previous settings, press and hold. It's now on the first channel, which is blue. Now this isn't the blue alarm, but I'll do it anyway. So there we are. We are now synced up with the, I know it's green to blue, but if you did it with color coordinated, you can. But that's now done. So I'm just gonna turn the volume down on this. So I can have the head completely silent. And now it's just coming through on here. If I press that uh, light button again, so now it's just on vibrate. <laughs> should be able to hear that. If I press it again, it's now on just sound. If I press it again, it's now on all three. There you go. So uh, it does everything you want and it relates to the tone settings on the head. So at the moment, if I turn the tone on this one down, do it again. As you see, it's picked it up on here, it's changed. Put it back up to high it's now gone higher. So any relation you do on here, it transmits back over to the receiver as well. So really handy little system, very quick to set up, and it tells you exactly what you need to know on each and individual rod at all times. This has a range of up to 150 meters. And again, that's not recommended that you're that far away from your rods, but it gives you peace of mind. If you're in your mate swim, it's got a strong enough receiver to pick up the distance from your rods, even if it's between a few trees and things. But yeah, don't go 150 meters away from your rods, of course. Battery wise, exactly the same, easy to access. Just slide off the back and you've got two AA, uh, AAA batteries in there. Slide it back in and you're replaced. Same with all of the items on this kit. They all come with AAA batteries or be replaced by they don't come with, sorry. One last thing that the receiver has built into it is anti-theft. So if you turn your alarm head off or someone's trying to take it, it will let you know. So if I turn the alarm head off, it's now gonna start beeping at me until I turn that alarm back on or press any one of these buttons. 
just to cancel that. So it lets you know if someone's trying to take your alarm head or if your alarm head has gone off for any reason. And lastly, we got the Bivy light. Now this comes as pretty much a freebie, regardless of what kit you go for, whether you're going for the two plus one, three plus one, or four plus one, they all come with the Bivy light as standard, which is very, very nice little uh, thing from Sonic there, because this can be used for a multitude of different things. Firstly, as a Bivy light, of course, but also to help you let you know when you're getting a take, because this is probably ideal for those of you that may be a bit harder of hearing. Use my brother-in-law as a prime example. He struggles with his hearing, and when he was looking at new alarms, unfortunately before these came out, he wanted something that would let him know he's getting a take, not just from a, a sound perspective, but also vibration like receiver or even lighting up as well. So this goes on your bivvy as normal. You've got a magnetic plate. There's two different ways. You've got magnetic plate, and underneath the plate, you've also got a hook. So there's two different ways of hanging it in your bivvy, but then you just put it up there. And then if you get a take, the lights will flash as well. There's different settings for the light I'll get onto in a second. So you've got volume coming from this as well, from the receiver and your alarms if you want. So you can have noise coming from everywhere if you're struggling here. And you may not be the angle next door's best friend, but you are gonna know you're getting a take. Now moving on to the side, you've got five different buttons, on off, LED on off, volume, brightness, and delay time. Now if I press and hold the on off button, as you'd expect, it turns on. Once again, silent, you don't need to have any kind of noise coming from this, you know you're turning it on. Next, you've got LED on off, so you press that, you can have that on all the time, just as a baby light, and there's four different brightness settings. So that's on its darkest, second, third, fourth, and back to the dimmest. Now, if I just press the LED on off, that's now back off. The middle button, volume. Silent, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back to silent. So seven modes, you can have it so it makes no noise, or you can have it fairly loud as well. Just put it on slightly. And you've got uh, a delay time, which is the last button. So I'll skip over the brightness button, because obviously that relates to the brightness of the lights. But delay time, you've got it on one, two, three, four, five, six, and back to one. Now this relates to how long the light stays on when you get a bite. So if I just do the alarm a second, which I turned off, turn that back on. There we go, if I just do the alarm, there we are, it's making a noise on here. So if I turn the receiver on to vibrate, the alarm head's off, now the noise is only coming from the bivvy. The receiver's vibrating, the alarm head is lighting up, but the noise is coming from the bivvy light. If I do that, as you can see, the lights are on. It's the green LED, so again, it's letting me know which alarm has gone off. And eventually, those lights will turn themselves off. And that stays on, depending on how long you've hit the delay button. So at the moment, I think I've got it on its longest, so it's staying on for ages. But if you want, I can press delay time again. So it's now on just the first mode. Do it again. Lit up, green LED in the middle, the rest of the BB light again, and it's gone off, is relation to how bright you are. And battery wise, once again, twist off the back plate, open up the battery compartment, and there you are exposed, three AAA batteries. So again, really easy to replace, and then cover that back up. So you've got three batteries for the BB light, two batteries for the alarm heads, two batteries for the receiver, and you're sorted. So that's all the features. As I said, gizmo by name, gizmo by nature, all these features, and it may sound like a lot to take in, it's probably a fairly long video showing you all the features, but it's dead simple to use. It's not like us fumbling around forever, trying to get these all to sync up. Work first time, and it's so easy to personalize each of these things, how you want the alarm heads, the receiver, the bivvy. You can use just the alarm heads if you want. You can have them on silent and use the receiver. You can have that on silent, this on vibrate, this on loud. The possibilities aren't endless, of course, but uh, there's so many different options to choose from. It's just a very nice all-round system. And now for the prices, which include all of the tech that I've just brought to you in a stylish little compact setup and a hard case and a free bivy light. So the following prices are all RRPs. The 2 plus 1 comes in at $199.99. 3 plus 1 is $249.99. And the 4 plus 1 comes in at $299.99 and if you want to pick up just an alarm head on its own that's $49.99. So for more information please head over to the Sonic website, pick yourself up a set of gizmos. Just watching and I'll see you again soon.